So what's your focus? Um, sometimes I can meet people and they're focusing on different types of things. Sometimes they only focus on uh, what they don't have or what they're not good at. And I'm kind of saying, okay, that's fine. But also think, what do you have and what are you good at? So, you know, focus on what you want. Focus on the goal. Focus on your solution. Don't just worry about the problems all the time. I mean, the problems are going to be there, but you need to focus on the solution if you're going to move towards it. Uh, I mean, I remember when I was uh, starting to ride a motorcycle, uh, the one thing that I always say to you, like if you see an obstacle or if you see something you don't want to hit, don't look at it. You need to look at the gap. You need to find uh, your exit uh, from that situation. And it's the same kind of with your problems and with your solutions. You need to you need to focus on the gap, focus on the exit, focus on the, the solution. And um, if you just focus on the, the thing you're going to hit, you're just going to drive straight into that. And I learned that lesson the hard way as well. Yeah, strengths and weaknesses. Okay, strengths and weaknesses. I'm talking about these just to uh, give you my view on these. Strengths and weaknesses are often very important. But the way I see it is, you know, look, if you're going to be passionate about something, if you're going to love something and be excited about it, you're gonna get you're gonna get good at it after a while. I mean, you're gonna be doing it all the time, and you're gonna love doing it. So of course you're gonna uh, get good at it. So I don't focus on the strengths first and say, okay, this is what you're strong at. This is what you want to do. I say, what do you want to do? And then let's find out how you're gonna get good at it. I think it's a much better uh, way of doing it. A much better way of getting to the to the end goal. Okay, the first thing you can do is download my free resources and answer the questions, fill them in. And that will get you. That will that will certainly get you closer to discovering your passion and finding work that you love. The next one is you can start doing the work you're already interested in. So if you know what it is you're interested in, just start doing it. Um, and then you'll get you'll say, okay, is this something I want to pursue further? Is this something that I really like? Have a chat with somebody already doing the work. I mean, they can give you the real insight. They can tell you, okay, maybe the glamorous bits, but the less glamorous bits of it as well. Um. And that's going to be, you know, an interesting conversation. Uh, and of course, you know, if somebody's going to help you out, it's always nice to buy them a coffee or give them a gift or something like that. Um, find people with interesting jobs and model them. So if you see somebody who you think has a really cool job, find out more about them. If you can read their biography, read about them on Wikipedia, YouTube, LinkedIn, whatever it is, read about what, what they've done to get where they are and then, you know, pursue that. See if that's something you want to do as well. You know, there's there's not um, there's not many downsides to actually you know reading a book about somebody or reading about them on LinkedIn. It's gonna just open up your interest, open up your um, ideas of what's possible for yourself in terms of your work. And go to the library and read about different subjects. You know, I love this one. It's like go to the library. You're gonna see all the different subjects. They're all in different category areas, and you can see about you can see all the different areas that there are. I mean, you're gonna start learning about subjects you didn't even know existed. So often we can kind of find ourselves pigeonholed into the same sort of 10 careers, you know, accountant, lawyer, teacher, um, you know, business person and so on, and, you know, nurse, doctor and so on. Now they're, they're all great professions, don't get me wrong, but I'm just saying that there's so many uh, professions out there. There's such a wide variety of stuff um, that you, you can just go and see what else is out there, what else would I be interested in doing. So go to the library and also you'll find if you start reading books about things, you're you're going to really see whether or not you're interested in things because look we we watch tv about anything we watch t we watch tv shows about things we're not even interested in or we don't even like but how many people will actually read a book about something they're not not interested in very few i imagine but i think you will read a book about something that you are interested in that's going to be a really good clue for yourself watch documentaries about your areas of interest again another really good way documentaries can be very insightful very interesting very um, you know, factual, thought-provoking. So watch a couple of documentaries about the thing that you're interested in. Uh, even if they're not produced well, if you're watching something that's not produced well because you're so interested in it, that's going to be another good sign for yourself that this is an area that maybe you need to pursue a little bit further. And the last one is get in contact with me. So I'm happy to give you a free 15-minute phone call. And after that, if you want to do sessions, we can talk about that. Um, and if there's anything else I can do, you know, let me know. Uh, you know, read the blog. There's lots of great tips there, and I hope this has been of of help to you.